Hello and welcome to my Powered Up tutorial in the English language. I already did one in German because you can probably hear it already. I am from Germany. There are more people in other countries. So I decided to make this tutorial in English too. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create programs with the Powered Up app that can be used to make programs for Lego Powered Up sets, Lego Boost sets and Lego Control Plus sets. So you can also use it for Boost ro Robotics sets and Technic sets. The goal for today is to start the motor and to let it spin. But before we can start with that, I want to give a quick overview over the app. And this is the start screen. You can get the app in the App Store from iOS or in the Play Store from Android. And here you can select pre-configured control uh, schematics. You can buy Lego models that either contain motorized functions or you can buy motor separately. And then you can use these buttons to control the models. But these are fixed controls and you can't use them to program the models or to make your own functionality. But LEGO is all about rebuilding and doing stuff the way you want. So we can use this app to create our own programs that can run on the hardware. Or to be more precise, the smartphone then controls the hub as if a program is running on the hub, but it's actually running on the smartphone. Apart from these pre-configured stuff, we have the settings. Here we can select the language, have a few more options. You might want to turn this to beginner in the beginning. We can read some stuff and there's a help option. And with all the boring stuff out of the way, we can go to the create area. Normally you will only have one project here. I already created some, but let's create a new one by clicking on this plus. First you can enter a name. I will stick to the default one, but you can write anything that you want. Then we can select if we want to use a touch screen controller to control our model or if it should run autonomously and we don't want to interact with it. This one is a bit easier, so I start with that. And now we are in the coding canvas. This is where all the magic happens, where we can write the program. And first I will connect the hub to the app. You can do that by clicking on the Bluetooth button and now you can click on the green button of the hub. It can be the Technic hub from Control Plus, the Move hub from Boost or the normal Powered Up hub. You can also rename the hub, but I will stick to the default name. So how does this coding canvas work? First, you have a few options here. We can copy blocks, we can redo and undo stuff that we did. We can resize the image so that it shows all the code. We can set the difficulty. I will set it to easy for now. We can get a basic help, but it's still lacking many things and we can open this menu. In the bottom, we have the programming blocks that we can use. We have start blocks that you can connect other blocks to. So let's say we want to move a motor. We can then move the motor block behind the start block. And with that, we can create our playlist of blocks that we want to execute. Let's say that I move a motor, motor block here, then it won't be executed because it's not connected to the start block. And there are some other types of blocks that we will discuss later. The first category, the yellow one, controls how the program runs. You can have, or you can add start blocks. You can add some other kinds of blocks that we will discuss later. Then in the orange category, we can use sensors. You can connect all the sensors to other hubs. 
So you can use a boost sensor with a powered up hub or with a control plus hub. Then we have the green category for motor interactions. We have the kind of bluish category with touch screen buttons, but we will discuss that later. Then we have the purple category. This one is for lights and sounds. And we have our advanced blocks, but there are no advanced blocks in the easy option. And the last one can be used to create your own programming blocks. But anyways, we want to stay with simple programs for now. I already created one. We have two starting points. The first one is followed by a programming block that stops the motor connected to port A of the hub. And the second one sets the speed of the motor on port A to 50. You can switch this option to uh, another type. And here you can see the maximum and the minimum values. The maximum speed for the motor is 100 and the minimum speed is minus 100. Zero means that the motor stops. 100 is um, full speed in one direction and negative 100 is full speed in the other direction. Now we can test the program. There is a small delay between the screen capture and the webcam. So keep that in mind when I display stuff. Anyways, we can press this button to start the motor and this button again to stop the motor. And now I suggest that you try a few things on your own because it's easiest to learn coding by coding. There will be more tutorial parts in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part.